Hey guys and gals, let's take a look at the Take Adventure by LEGO Minecraft. This is set number 2 and 162 contains 74 bricks. And as you can tell, it looks like the adventure is a bit limited. This looks more like a Minecraft mob pack. So we get a fox, a wolf, a skeleton, and of course Steve. So let's see exactly what's inside. It's one of those goofy thumb pushing things and this is from my personal collection I'm slowly devouring sets up at this point and we got two bags of bricks and a small instruction manual okay let's take a look at the parts we're gonna start with the little bag first obviously unnumbered so we're just gonna have to go with this one here all right, so it looks like we get a bunch of, well, things that like to roll off. Uh, some stud flowers, a power cord that's in my way, <laughs> um, some 2x2 two two jumper plates, 2x2 two two plates, some of these little 1x2 bricks with the vertical groove what you use for a roll-up garage door, 1x3 flat tiles, skeleton's bow, I also got some legs and arms in here. A printed TNT block. Cool, I can always use those. So you get two of those and some flower stems and such. One by one plates. What else do we get in here? Uh, one by three plate. Studs that are solid. I was hoping it would be hollow like the red ones that I see here. And I've been trying to scarf these up and I notice this thing's way out of frame so hopefully we can still see everything and uh, I had a comment ask why don't I do these in the afternoon when I get done with work well by then I'm just too tired <laughs> and I don't want to have to get up and look at a computer screen we got a Technic brick there's those flower stems if you miss them and one of these one by one round plates with a stick and some Technic pins. So I'm looking for more of these uh, type of stud flowers. They're smaller than the four leaf ones and we got the hollow studs and stuff. Okay, let's slide that off and we will look in the second bag. This one's actually got the bigger stuff. So far the parts are eh, not too exciting. And we got three 6x6 six six plates, two in sand green and one in reddish brown. Let's hope that's not brittle and break everywhere. Alright, we got a 2x4 plate in sand green, a set of 2x4 jumper plates, and a 2x4 flat tile as well as some bricks. Gotta be careful with these, it may drop them and they'll just turn into powder. So get three of those 2x4 bricks and a wolf's head and there's the well there's some iron not iron gold leggings yeah those are not going to last too long and something's gone up in flames oh and i forgot to mention in the other bag we got a gold sword so steve is obviously not op where's the fox head at or did i pass that up oh he's actually orange okay so let's get building we're going to start with the figures first. Start sorting the stuff out here. And I'll keep those up there so we know where the camera frame is at so I don't mess up again. <laughs> yeah, it's been one of those busy days and trying to, you know, get a lot of these tutorials done and, and these set reviews. I haven't received any more offers yet, so... Uh, time to get on these and I'm trying to part out a bunch of the sets that I have now and put them in my collection there's Steve well maybe not a sword flew out of his hand well we're really gonna have to jam that in there huh there hope it doesn't fly out again if it does well Steve you don't need that gold sword that bad so we got him done and let's start piecing together all the skeleton stuff here and I don't know which way these are supposed to go. Obviously not that way. Yeah, so I'm trying to get done. I know some of you have been requesting more uh, 
uh, house builds. I've been getting requests for those. And I have a bunch of floor plans I'd like to build. It's the time. And two, uh, reddish brown is starting to get very brittle now. So what's happening is I have a bunch of, uh, not reddish brown, new dark red or just dark red. It's starting to get brittle. And I have a bunch of roof slopes in that color. So unless there's a way to preserve those and use them, well, I'm going to have to build up a whole new roof system in a different color. And so that's delaying me right now. And... I mean, bright red, if I can get the right parts, yes. But, you know, it's just trying to find all the, all the pieces to do everything. Like the inside and outside corners and such. Okay, that takes care of the figures. So now we're going to build the wolf. And let's get this going real quick. So that's pretty much what's up with the houses, is the roof. Usually I'm stuck always on the roof. That's just how it is. If you've ever built a house from scratch, and we're not talking about one of those small houses, we're talking about one that you take several base plates to build, and just building a roof, you got to make sure the, the spacing for the slopes are right, and it just becomes a bit of a, a problem. Okay. Yes, my hands are all torn up. I've been working on machinery stuff, so I don't just sit and press buttons on the computer. <laughs> you know, that's my job, but sometimes I have to fix things that need to be fixed. And there is the wolf. Some think that I just do Lego all day, and I'm not like your typical a fall where I sit and play in my Lego room <laughs> honestly I'd rather be outside doing some interesting stuff than being cooped up in the house Lego is more like a nighttime gig it's not really like something I would spend all day I know there's a few out there who do this all day long and I cannot do that I'd rather be outside I mean right now it's like in the 80s but of course it's early in the morning but still I'd rather be outside and join the fresh air than, you know, building stuff. And I know I could just take my Lego outside, but, well, with the fires we're having over here and stuff like that, the air is not really that healthy. So, I think we're missing a tail on this guy. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, we are. Okay, and we're missing a white one. So, this set just looks like it's just a parts pack. Not a parts pack, but just a, a friendly mob pack. Well, not a friendly mob. we got a skeleton in there. So, it's just a mob pack. So, there's the wolf. Or the fox, whatever. And... Now we get to start building with big stuff now. And let's see here. And I'm kind of ducking my head around the light. I don't want to be knocking my noggin on things, but it's hard not to do that. And the shade on this thing is pretty uh, flaky, so I've got to be careful here. And... I'm going to try to get all these reviews done soon um, before I get any more offers from Lego to review stuff, you know, and just to get them, get my stuff going here. And, you know, one thing I do in my reviews, I don't like a lot of people, is, uh, you know, retention span. You know, am I getting bored of this? Uh, you know, Minecraft sets are very basic. It's like building an old-school Lego um, a system set, if you want to call them that. They used to, I don't know what the old theme was, but very basic blocks, which are always good. 
and yeah, pretty much what this is. Now, just by looking at this Tega Adventures, I doubt that this is even going to be an adventure. Maybe an adventure of how small this set is, but yeah, I mean, it's pretty tiny. I'm taking it, this kind of pops off here, and that's reddish brown. We gotta be careful with that, it may shatter. It may, <laughs> it may disintegrate on us here. We gotta be extra careful. My goodness, look at all this small stuff in here. It's almost like a micro build. And we have we've got to build some sweet berry bushes. So we're going to have to just make three of these, but you got to make two of them in total. So uh, I'm just going to start setting things together. and get these done. Well, Jay, if you like doing mocks so much, why do you do reviews? You know, when I was trying to get our community into the ambassador thing, I was trying to get a community in, but they were only interested in me. So, unfortunately. Um, I guess they assume that I'm. you do YouTube, I do fan media. Well, I don't do fan media. <laughs> I've been thinking about doing some news videos, but I don't know how I would go about doing them. I don't really have the personality to do Lego news videos at all. Um, I like showing my work, my mocks, my ideas, showing, you know, sharing my creations and hoping I don't mess up on things. And to say, hey, this is, let's talk about the new Lego set that's coming out in two weeks, you know, and. It, What's my first impressions? Just by looking at a picture. A picture doesn't really tell me a lot. Yeah, it's some, you heard that old saying, a picture is worth a thousand words, but you know, sometimes that could be a little deceiving. Okay, and so that's why I don't depend on a picture. I've seen a few YouTubers do that. Um, they'll sit and talk about a picture. And it's like talking about this. Well, I can't tell on this. I can only tell like this. Picture doesn't tell me the build quality or anything. So on this channel, you know, if I can't exp if I can't experience it, I, I have nothing to I have nothing to tell you. You know, um, there's nothing to say. You know, if a set is cool or not. I mean, how do I know if this is going to be exciting? Uh, this is a very quick build. Is it relaxing? Well. You know, just going to be honest, it's just your typical Minecraft set. At this point, um, Minecraft sets are just to get to be a bit boring, so I'm trying to get them done. So this just sits here. You think it would sit here? Okay. Don't poke it in somebody's eye, and all that does is blow up. So that's all that does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll save that for the latter part of the video. And that's it. We're done. I mean, that wasn't too bad. And we have a lot of small stuff. You know, I always get fans telling me about one by one plates and stuff and flower stems. Where do you get the extra ones? Usually sets like this. And I take good care of my stuff too, so it's always going to last. Alrighty, so this completes the build. Don't go away yet, we still haven't done everything else. Alright, now for the review. Um, you know, first off, um, you have plenty of mobs. So I would say that this is a Minecraft mob pack. You get the skeleton, Steve. A wolf and a fox. Oh, these two are brick built. These two are just minifigures. Okay. Uh, play value. Could you play with this? Um, I mean, you probably could if you had the skeleton up here and Steve comes by and prounces on this thing and he blows up. You know, you could do that. Uh, but you know, for maybe a younger builder, this probably would be okay. But for me as an adult, well, the moment has passed. Now it's getting boring. 
<laughs> There's not really a whole lot to this. So it's just, just an accessory pack. Now could this be dropped in a Lego City? Um, you could if you were to expand on this backside, but really it would be kind of odd to have this in your city. I can maybe see these being dropped in a city, but for this, yeah, not so much. Here, we'll put the skeleton in there. It's morning time, right? Sun's coming up and he's up in flames. Alex in his... Alex. Steve is in his gold armor. Boy, I'm really messing up today. And no, I'm not going to censor that like all the other big guys do. I'm going to leave all that in there raw and cut. But it was it an interesting build? It was okay for an adult. Um, but it's mainly just as an accessory set. Uh, build quality. You know, you know, it's just plate plates and bricks, nothing really sturdy, so I would say this is okay. Um, uh, but this could have been probably put in a poly bag more than in a box, but I think because it's got a lot of the bigger pieces and such. But I think honestly though, this is this is a great little accessory pack if you're building a Minecraft world in Lego, but if you're, let's say you're planning on building a whole entire city or even a zoo with just this, you know, you may want to look somewhere else, but uh, this is just meant to be as an add-on for an existing Minecraft set, you know, but for this being a small set, I don't know what it retailed for, this was given to me as a gift, but for it being 74 pieces, I'm assuming it's probably, I don't know, I don't think it was 74 cents, uh, probably Probably five or six dollars, I don't know. But if you find it on sale for a few bucks, yeah, this is a great little source for parts, you know, especially for the animal figures. But other than that, though, uh, for me as an adult builder, yeah, yeah, I, I, I would just pass up on this one, unless you're into Minecraft.